meow time. What's going on guys, I'm here, welcome back to your brand new video home that channel, welcome back to some Mario Kart Wii. Today I've got a bit of a special challenge here, if you can see in the top left corner, I can't see my own items now, and this means that I gotta like kinda guess what I got, I think I've got mushrooms right there, I have no idea, it's, it truly does change your playstyle on the entire game. You kind of have to gamble a lot here, yeah, there you go, a red shell. And now I'm obviously not the very first person to actually do a thing like this, it's uh, a challenge that's been around on YouTube for quite a bit, and... Oh, a thundercloud in second place is rough, but it always gives a very interesting race, so I kind of wanted to try it out, and I might actually release the very item roulette texture pack, so you guys can try it out for yourself as well, so if you guys want to download it, it should be in the description below, and uh, let's see where this actually brings us. I hate being in third place, though, like, the chance of pulling a TC is so high in this placement here, and I've said this multiple times, and it always happens, and it's just, it's too risky. There you go though, it's a pretty safe uh, course for the item usage. Just because there aren't like any shortcuts on this track, so even if you're in like last position, it doesn't really matter what kind of item you get, you can't really do any shortcuts either way, so you don't have to like gamble whether you have a mushroom or a shock or something like that. I do hope you can kind of see where this is all going, it should be a fun video to make, a pretty interesting challenge and also, I'm actually at like the highest point with my VR ever. As you can see right there, I'm almost at 7700 VR. I actually just lost a little bit because I was already at 77 and that's most probably gonna be a very big trend you're gonna notice as well on this video me losing quite a bunch of VR I'm gonna try my best to actually stay here but again with those items or with the with a random item roulette the invisible item roulette it's kind of hard to uh, play well consistently also I just got kicked out of that worldwide and I can't seem to find a new one so I might just try going on regular tracks for now it's always a gamble with that too like sometimes you can't find lobbies sometimes you get kicked out of them you can't join back also just really quickly I actually want to give a pretty big shout out to dark who as you probably have noticed my overlay is quite different now like the timer is actually at the very top and then the lap count is below the item uh, boxes or I mean it's actually right below the item roulette so it definitely looks quite nice and it means that my webcam isn't blocking the, the two things anymore so a big shout out goes to him for actually helping me with that, he's helped me before as well with various mods on this game, so a big shout out to him. But here's the deal though, we're actually in very first place now, so we're not looking shabby, a 3 player race too. I had an okay lead too, the guy actually did the shortcuts, so you have to watch out. I'm kind of okay holding these items for now though, again it's a very high chance you pull like TC's in 2nd to 4th place, even 5th. Now I'm actually not sure if the person in last can get like blue shells or anything like that, so I might have to actually try to snipe the the person at first, to get to first. Oh, the guy's just backspamming green too. It's, it's going like the wrong way now. Yeah, second place, I'll take it though, right? Just three people racing. I'll probably lose VR for this, but... Oh, actually, a very good thing about low amount of people racing with this very challenge is that it's way easier to actually kind of guess what item you pull. So right there, I pulled it in third. It's probably like a mushroom. There you go. See, it's, it's way easier. Oh, and a TC right there, yeah. <laughs> you don't have to guess that one, dude. It just gives it to you. We're third now, though. It's all coming down to this item here. Just spam it, man. It's gonna be a blue shell, what? Oh. Just barely couldn't get second, but... And again, the very reason it is so easy to actually kind of guess what item you have when only a few people are racing is because the difference between first and last is actually very big, so you can always kind of be sure that you got, like, a, a banana or maybe a, a green shell in first. And in the last place, you always get, like, mushrooms or speed items in general. But then still, you always got, like, the middle spot, so it's always kind of like a gamble there. Never really changes, no matter how many people race, but it shall be fine. Here we go. Second place box should be something good, I hope. Probably gonna be, like, some kind of red shell. You know, you, you always have, like, the, the very items that you mostly get. Uh, it's actually triple greens. Shells in second is a good bet, though, you know, stuff like that. And the more you actually play like this, the better you get as well with recognizing what kind of items you pull. So it is kind of a good practice way as well in some some weird way. Oh, a mushroom in third. That's what I mean. That's such a rare pearl, right? You never get those. Really interesting. Ideally, I do want to kind of be in first place again because you always get protection. It's a very safe spot to be in. Like, the chance of pulling a TC here is just too big. I talked about this before as well. It's just, you, you can't gamble. That's not worth it. Okay, the guy in front of me got TC. That's a good thing right there. Again, it's third place. That's horrible, but let's hopefully get a good item here, though. Okay, triple greens. That's fine. It all relies on this, though. This last item. I gotta get something good. I gotta get a good speed item here. A star. Yeah. Uh, the guy fills. There you go. For fourth place. No, not the best spot, though. I don't lose too much VR, so it's not the worst, but I gotta step up my game. Also, a pretty interesting part of this challenge, too, is, like, picking your tracks. 
because you gotta be strategic about this, right? You have the disadvantage because of this little mod. You wanna make sure you actually help yourself by kind of voting for the right tracks where you don't really have any big shortcuts or maybe you do want shortcuts actually. And that's the whole strategy behind it. You actually wanna make sure, like so much extra thought goes into it. It is so not worth it to actually play this, but it is a fun thing to actually try out. Okay, third place. If I get TC, dude, I'm actually so done as well. I just, I can't think about it too much because it's, it's gonna happen eventually, most likely, but oh. Maybe it's sometimes even better to just skip the item box altogether, like honestly. Like there's no real point in using these like red shells or green shells, for example, right now. Person at first is way ahead. But it might just be better going for like tighter lines, you know. Using the mag bike, you definitely can gain some speed on the the Bowser bikes on some turns. Then again, having protection is pretty nice if the person behind you has like red shells though, so. Oh man, there's so much goes into it, I can't believe this. Okay, the person at first getting blue, that's nice. And here's where it's getting tricky though, I kinda wanna lose this green shell. And then a bomb? Okay, that was a nice spell right there, I lost it though. We gotta get some good items here, this is where it comes down to. Oh, a banana. God bless, dude, that's awesome, here we go. Yeah, oh, second actually? I think he might have passed me on the line, I'm not sure, I might have lagged him though. Yeah, there you go, first place, totally deserved right there, dude. <laughs> I'll take it. I just love doing weird videos like this though, like it's always just a bit of a different style of video as well, as I'm kind of focusing on the very, you know, very challenge. But it's really just a nice, like, change of pace, it's something new, something else. I love doing this, I don't know. Alright, Delfino Square, yeah. This is definitely one of those tracks where I just talked about, right, where there's a few shortcuts on here. So if you're in last position, you're not sure what item you have, so it's very risky to take him. Like right after, right, the dog side, there's so many shortcuts there, so many shenanigans. Oh, I'm in first now though, so I'm kind of chilling, I have no worries at the moment, so... Let's just chill. And again, it's all about my lines too, because I can't really rely on my items here, so if I can just keep this up, can drive somewhat well, I should be A-OK -okay for now. Oh no! Okay, that guy got hit too, man. We got both just screwed over by lag. Here's the struggle though, I'm in fourth place. Like, what's the odds of me pulling a, a mushroom now? I'm gonna try it, I, I think. Oh, they're so slim. Okay, I got three mushrooms. I spammed them all, that's not bad though. I mean, it could have been better, but the thing kind of is, you can't check what item you have. Like, with a, with a banana, you can kind of hold it behind you, so you can do like a quick check. But with mushrooms, you just use them or you just don't. There's no way of really identifying what kind of item you got then, so it's just, oh. Such a struggle, but if I use it right now, that's a blooper, wow. <laughs> I got a golden and fourth though, wow. <laughs> no, a blue shell too, I'm not liking my ults right now, like the items I'm pulling are very inconsistent here. Yeah, mega mushroom, blue shell, blooper, triple mushroom, goldens. It's like, I can put anything right now on this position, I don't like that. No way of me knowing what I have now too, it's like, it's too much gambling dude. Oh, triple greens. I can pull anything, really. Oh, the greens, too. Oh my god, there were too many of them. There you go, triple mushrooms. Or maybe a Gordon. No, there were triple mushrooms. I, I can't know. Okay, here we go. Fourth place. Hopefully, I can get this. About to. I, I can literally pull anything on this position, dude. I'm, I'm being serious now, too. There you go. I'll take fourth place. That was kind of crazy, though. That's not a position you want to be in <laughs> at all. I do think that's gonna do it for this video, though. I didn't lose too much VR at the end, so it's not even too shabby right there. It's a very nice challenge, a very nice change of pace. It's really interesting to see the different strategies and the different just plays how you have to like put on to actually make it work. Again, if you guys actually want to try out this challenge for yourself, I'll make sure to put the, the download link of the item roulette with a peace shine, the random one. I'll put the link down below so you guys can download that and use it for your own game. I always love doing different challenges like this to actually spice things up and I hope to actually do more stuff like it as well in the very future. So thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more videos like this. Then I'll see you guys in the next episode. Enjoy your stay.